Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games, and this will be the last video that we shoot this year. We're going to take a short break, but before we do, I want to leave you with games that we feel you could use in one-on-one -on -one or private classes. In order to make this quick, I'm going to go through it like a lightning round. Five games very quickly. Number one, I spy. You choose something in the room, and you say what color it is. I see something red. Is it your golf bag? No, it isn't. Is it the jacket? No, it's not. Is it the pencil box? Yes, it is. Your turn. For older or more advanced students, you could use a color-coded map like this and say, I see something green. And they would have to guess the countries. Is it the USA? No, it's not. Is it Australia? Yes, it is. Good job. Number two, I call Find the Match. It's a game called Spot It that I bought at a bookstore in Taiwan. Inside a can, there are a bunch of circular cards. You flip two over, and you race to find something that matches on the two cards. In this case, it was cake. Number three I'm calling What Am I? It's also a bookstore find, but it could easily be made. You need a headband of some kind and then a card. You put the card in the headband so that the student wearing it cannot see what they are, and then they need to ask yes or no questions to narrow down their options until they find out that they are what they are, in this case a mouse. Number four, let's have a spelling race. For this game you either need cards with letters on them or Scrabble tiles. Here I have Scrabble dice. In any event, you need to choose about eight letters for the students to use, give them a set amount of time, maybe one minute, and have them spell as many words as they can in that minute, and then award points based on either the letters or the number of words that they spelled correctly. Finally, number five, Memory Plus. In this game, you'll use a standard deck of playing cards and separate the red and black cards. I'll use red in the example, and I'm also removing the jack, queen, and king. I'll set the remaining cards, ace through nine, on a table in a formation like this, and we'll play a standard game of memory where students turn over the cards two at a time until they can find a match. The plus part, though, in Memory Plus, is that in order to take this match, they need to give me something that they associate with the number that they've found. And here, they found seven, so they could say something like, there are seven days in a week. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you after a short break in 2021 with more games for you.